to a proposed surf village, yes, another one with the 7 million gallon wave pools getting pushback from the Eva community. They've now filed a lawsuit asking the Hawaii Community Development Authority to revisit the project. Bryce Moore reports. The west side already has one wave pool, Vaikai Wave, which opened in March. The Hawaii Community Development Authority approved another just 10 minutes away, finding the 20-acre surf village will have no significant environmental impacts. We're basically saying they need to redo the whole EIS process and go back to the bidding, as well as we don't believe HCDA should be issuing any permits related to this as well. A big issue is the water itself. Where are they going to get the water from? We, we, we know it's going to come from the Navy system or what the EA, system, the EA, the environmental assessment says, but what impacts will that have on the other aquifers, or the, the other water resources that Oahu uses? There's also concern over Hawaiian burials. You had over 80 plus families that were living, cultivating land here. So a lot of their um, the descendants were buried in, in this area all over the place. You can't really say where it is. Now the proposed site doesn't look like much now and those involved in the lawsuit want to keep it that way. Plaintiffs tell me they want to keep all of this from turning into something like this. Professional waterman and Honokea West's owner Brian Kaolana said in part through a statement, we are aware of our island's water concerns and will be integrating conservation into our operations. The project site in Kalailoa has been in disrepair for decades. We've met with a number of Hawaiian cultural advisors and conducted extensive archaeological and environmental studies to ensure that we protect and malama the site. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.